A Tamil family seeking asylum in Australia has had their last court appeal rejected. But the small central Queensland town fighting for the family to stay isn't giving up, making a last-ditch plea for ministerial intervention. Months of petitions, marches and candlelight vigils have culminated in a simple request. Please look at the case of this family, look at what the people in Biloela want, look at what people in Australia want and let this family stay. The community of Biloela has been campaigning to have Nadez, Priya and their two young daughters released from immigration detention since March last year. But today, the High Court of Australia rejected their final appeal, with deportation the next step. It's really just any moment now, so we're just asking people to pick up your phone, contact the minister. The family had been living and working in Biloela for about three years. Supporters say the family is devastated by the decision. They say a return to Sri Lanka puts them at risk of persecution due to past family links with the Tamil Tigers. We only just saw recently over Easter with the bombings and attacks that happened in Sri Lanka, like how can we determine that that's a safe place for anybody to be returned to? The courts have upheld the government's assessment that the family is not facing significant harm. Ministerial intervention is now their only chance to remain in Australia. It's been a High Court matter, it's been, there's been appeal after appeal after appeal, so I'll leave any further comment to the uh, Minister in charge. Both the Immigration Minister David Coleman and the Opposition have declined to comment. In a statement, Border Force says non-citizens who do not hold a valid visa are expected to depart to their country of citizenship. I don't know the, the full implications, but uh, look, I'm disappointed with the result. You know, there's huge support for you here. We haven't given up. Just keep holding your head high. They've done nothing wrong. There's no indication of when the family could be deported. Amy McCosker, ABC News, Villa Wheeler.